been kind of polishing up the atmosphere shader stuff but real quick before i finalize that i want to give a shot to doing it in the side in the way that uh sebastian leg does it in his video um so let's see actually shit i'm gonna have to pull that up so let's pull that up um if you haven't watched this guy's stuff it's all really really good When we discover the because his his implementation seemed to be quite a bit simpler than mine. Um, now, granted, our tracing scenario, like the space we have to trace, is different. We build, so we have to we have to alter that part. We carry. But I explicitly there's some stuff I want to pull out of here. <laughs> Excuse me, for reference. Let's take a couple of quick screenshots. Great, and then So this is how ours look right now. I feel like they look pretty good, uh, but I think we can, I, I like exploring all available options and there are some issues with this version explicitly when you're moving out of the inner into the atmosphere, we get this very jarring transition and it's probably because I'm calculating my segments wrong, but I just want to try the other method and see, uh, you know, how, how it looks aside from that one little issue. The cloud shader actually looks quite good. You even get like this silver lining and whatnot. Uh, so I thought it's worth exploring all our options before I finalize this. It's It has a big impact on the appearance of the end output. So we're going to try to do this more simple, simple uh, ray of, way of compositing it. So I've created a separate shader for us to experiment with this in. We haven't put anything in there yet. We started writing it. Uh, let's bring open our conversation that I was having about it with Chad GPT. Right? All right. Uh, so all we have so far is just a simple race for your intersection here. We're going to create our global values here. So we're going to need float three planet position, float three camera position. Float three light position. Float three planet radius. Float cloud height. Nope. Float cloud thickness. All right. We know for a fact we need these. So we go ahead and instantiate them. Um, for now, we'll just do hard coded. We want to get something that looks good in the material editor. And then once we've got that, so I think we can do camera position equals camera position, CF dot planet position equals float three zero 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 just for now um cf dot light 
position equals float three, uh, a big number zero zero. Uh, this is not a float three. We can also do float three base, uh, we just do cloud color equals, uh, we can't do that. Shut up TV, fucking commercials, god damn it. Okay, uh, cloud color, let's... Okay. Camera position will have to pass in. Planet position can be zero. Light position can be a big number. Uh, planet. Planet radius. We'll set uh, 150 until we test it. Um, CF dot cloud height 170. CF dot cloud thickness uh, let's do 30 we'll exaggerate it for now and then all right so cloud color Cloud color equals float three one 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 just white and there we go uh, and then finally we're gonna have a float three render clouds. Turn. Three zero 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 for now, and then return render clouds. All right, great. Okay, so we got our ray origin. thinking all right let's go back to our con to our um Let's do a float four calculate late trace segments. Uh huh. We're going to want to do this right here. Uh, tab, tab, and then Float to outer intersects equals calculate sphere intersections, uh, camera position, float three, ray, Ray origin, ray direction, sphere center, sphere radius. Camera position, okay, so float 
three gray direction equals normalize camera position minus Yeah, we need the camera position, camera vector. Camera vector equals, and it's flipped. So we'll just do this. And we don't need this anymore. This becomes camera position, camera vector, planet position, low cloud min radius equals planet radius plus cloud height float cloud max radius equals planet uh, radius plus cloud height plus cloud thickness trying to reduce the amount of parameters we have to pass into this thing you know um, to make it a little bit easier to control. Cloud min, cloud max, cloud max radius, split to inner intersects, equals the same thing. Oops, no, not like that. Same thing, except for instead of max, we'll do min. Okay, great. Boom. Now we have all this shit, and we're going to turn For start first segment and first segment start second ste segment in second segment Um, need to go back to our coworker here. I am working on the method to generate our trace segments. However, I'm not sure it's quite right. We should account for need to also account for scenario where the camera is inside a segment in that case the start position for the segment would be negative and 
and should be set to zero due to the camera position while the end position would remain assuming We can go look at our nice cloud in the meantime. Yeah, I want to get rid of like this trace through problem. I want to trace it all in one go instead of doing two separate passes. I think that's the root of a lot of the inconsistencies of this is tracing it as, as two separate segments instead of like one contiguous loop that, that just does it. So that's kind of part of why I wanted to try Sometimes it's good to just start over from scratch, try a different method, especially if the method seems relatively simple. Okay, let's try that. All right, so now we're going to need a couple functions. Um, trace cloud. Light March Position um, Float Three Light Direction light position minus position normalize okay Calculate trace segments, segments, All right, so we're going to want um, float three accumulated color, three, zero, zero. Let's take a look at the fields here. So Uh, 
root total distance equals segments um, dot y minus segments x plus segments dot a minus segments dot c Uh, we need step variables int cloud density steps int cloud light steps we'll start with cloud 64 and 6 Right, six. Step size equals total distance divided by float cloud density steps. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so flow distance traveled zero. Distance limit scene depth. For now, we'll make it a huge number, but we'll have to incorporate this later. And my dog is peeing on the carpet, so I'm going to have to deal with that real quick. Look, scene, depth. Hey, bud, it. Hey girl. Can we take a look at this again? Okay. This element is going to be the length, uh, in this case, of segments. Here, let me help. Almost. Good girl. And it's Y minus segments. X. So 
Dollar, uh, float three start point equals camera position plus camera vector times Hey, you want pet? Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> hey, good girl. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we've calculated our start point for this one. Our initial distance travel and the distance limit. And I think this is where we need to calculate our scene depth. So it would be length, camera position minus Men of this and scene scene depth minus segments x I think while distance traveled is less than distance limit. Oh yeah, she's she's definitely gone and pooped somewhere. I'm gonna have to go clean that up. All right, I'll be right back. Cleaning up dog, uh, dog mess. One moment. Where did you poop, girl? I smell it. All right, need a towel. Go grab a towel. Let me go back to this little turtle. Uh, oh, you pooped right there. That's odd. Let me clean the poop up first. Pooped on the couch. My kid. No, 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 Violet, get out of there. Uh 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 uh. I'm sorry. I was like, where did you poop? You pooped on the couch. No, 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 back up. I'm going to step in it. She's blind. So you kind of have to work with her. Back up, back up, back up. Don't step in your own poop, please. Before I can get a chance to clean it up. No wonder it smelled so strongly. You pooped right over here. I was like, I know she's pooped. I don't see where. It was on the couch. <laughs> he wants to be.
email. All right, all cleaned up. Ugh. Okay. So let's go look at this function again. Ray pause, entry point plus ray direction times two. Okay, so that's easy. Float three current. We'll just call it sample. Uh, sample position equals start position plus camera vector times distance traveled. Okay. Um, so we're gonna need this stuff. CF dot cloud volume texture CF dot cloud volume texture sampler CF dot cloud blue noise here cf dot cloud blue noise texture sampler you go add all these uh -huh. so this is a texture 3d Sampler state texture two D sampler state cloud volume. Texture, cloud, volume, te texture. Let's do, we'll do camel for case this time. Eh, all right, it's fine, it's fine. Sampler, cloud, blue, noise, texture. Cloud, blue, noise, texture, sampler. And that gives us those inputs. Now we're going to go back over to our other cloud function. We're going to need these three. Min radius cloud max radius cloud min radius equals uh, CF planet 
radius plus cf dot cloud height and this should actually be 20 cf dot max uh, cloud max radius cf planet radius uh, or actually we can just say cloud min save a few instructions plus cloud thickness Radius, we don't need these anymore. Calculate height coefficient. Looks good. Like this for now. return D here good uh, max cloud men Oops. Point three. We'll just do point threes for now. <laughs> Return two for now here. Okay. Trace clouds, distance traveled. Okay, now we're back here. So, sample position. Let's go back over here. Density equals sample cloud density sample position if density greater zero. Light like transmit equals light march sample position. Uh, transmitted starts at one light energy starts at zero and it's a float three, huh? Light energy
transmittance one. Oops. Light energy plus equals density times step size times transmittance times light transmittance times phase value. Okay, so we need to calculate our phase value. What is our phase value? Uh, Load phase equals a green scene. Um, it's camera vector, light direction. Okay, so camera vector G. Normalize light position minus planet position, something like this. All right, and then we come back down here and we do our light energy plus equals. Density times step size times transmittance. Density times step size times transmittance times light transmittance. Times phase. And then transmittance times equals exponential negative, okay, exponential negative density times step size. size. Float cloud absorption see about cloud absorption equals two point five for now and come back to it. Um times cloud absorption. Transmittance is less. Okay, we'll, we'll continue. We're going to have that. Transmittance less than 0.01. Break. Just distance traveled plus equals step size. All right, so this should be good for that, and then we have to do it again for the second segment. We can. We're going to need these. Uh, 
Cloud distortion scale weight flip four. Shape, detail, micro, float and noise scale. All set. Okay. These are like our noise sampling controls, basically. All right, now we need our light march function. Step size equals in um, uh, cloud five cloud light steps times density step size. Zero I less than cloud light steps I plus plus Well, I don't know. I'm not sure if they feel like it's in technology. 
Decision pose it. Okay, I see. Position plus equals my direction times step size. Density equals sample cloud density at the new position. Total density plus equals, okay, so we need total density. Density. Total density. Zero. Step size. Total density plus equals density. Uh, we can actually do this max zero. Uh, below transmittance equals the exponential of total density times light absorption towards sun. Where does he calculate the phase? All right, let's just do it. We'll just do it for now. Um, absorption one, two. Oop. Hey girl, it's okay. You should just relax. You can give me a snuggle. Okay. Cloud. Absorption to sun. Exponential, okay, so flow transmittance equals exponential negative total density times light absorption. To, okay, so transmittance, exponential, negative total density times light uh, absorption to sun. Thank you. 
Blood and darkness threshold. Darkness threshold is five. And darkness threshold minus plus plus transmittance times one minus darkness threshold. Okay. Seems somewhat correct. And then we're going to need the scene color. Scene color with three scene color All right, we got to do this again. Okay. Reset our values here. Segments A minus Z. Z. Wait. Camera position plus camera vector times segments Z. Trace the potential second segment. And then finally, and then finally, we're going to do this composi composition. Background color, we already have that scene color, cloud color, white energy times cloud color. Three cloud color equals light energy times cloud color. Look, three. Uh, return scene color. Uh, 
times transmittance. Plus cloud color. Cloud color. All right, and this is going to be all kinds of broken when we first try to use it. So we'll just have to gradually get everything worked together. Let's give it a shot. It's probably going to just, like I said, it's going to be all kinds of broken here. Okay, hold up, we need all of these. Right, take it back. We're going to do camel case. Now's kind of the time before we've started implementing everything, adding inputs. Shape, scale, weight, detail, scale, weight, micro, scale, weight. A volume, texture, um, volume. Texture sample, texture noise blue blue. God damn it! Noise text sampler. So the things we gotta populate right now: camera position, camera vector, scene color. Uh, distortion, noise scale, distortion scale, shape scale, detail scale, micro scale, cloud volume texture, cloud volume, uh, cloud blue noise texture. Okay, so we're going to need one, two, three, and actually, you know what? We'll save the default values in, in comments here, but we're gonna, just going to go ahead and bite the bullet here. Light, position, planet, radius. That way they can be ordered correctly. Scene depth. Color. Height. Cloud. Thickness. Cloud. Steps. Cloud. Light. Steps. That's a derived value. 
cloud. Option two light. Uh, no, two cloud. And uh, two light. Uh, darkness threshold. Cloud. Oh, nope, nope, not like that. <laughs> Cloud, darkness threshold. Scale. We changed them here. This okay. all right. Copy paste. All right, so we gotta add. Oh yeah, yeah. This is all gotta change. Sampler. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Oops. Nope. Paste it over that. All right. Great. Now we need inputs. So let's count them up. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Let's go ahead and add a couple other ones. Cloud G. Twenty-six. Oh, gee. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Paste it back in. All right, so we need a bunch of inputs now. Okay. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fifty. Our perimeter to depth placeholder. A very large value. Beautiful. And then this is just post process uh, sample scene scene texture post process zero component mask RGB vector parameter out color Right, go, Euler parameter, loud height, 20, scalar parameter, loud thickness, 30, scalar parameter, loud density steps, 64 scalar parameter loud light steps 6 parameter absorption 2 cloud Perimeter sort to light Healer parameter and it is threshold five scalar parameter. Cloud G, it's five parameter, cloud noise scale one, vector parameter, cloud offset zero zero zero. Vector parameter, function scale weight, point five eight eight two vector parameter, shape scale weight one one one. Actually, let's do two, 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 and a six. Vector parameter, detail, scale, weight, point five, point five, point five, and three. Vector parameter, micro scale weight to point five, point one, point one, point one. There we go. And then um, texture objects perimeter, uh, Berlin whirly blended volume texture texture object parameter blue noise texture blue noise Now we gotta fix all this shit. Cloud volume texture.
Did you mean cloud volume texture tick turn? Okay. Uh, undefined uses sphere intersections, return sphere intersections. Look to. Okay. Okay. Set them up, knock them down. Transmittance with one T is wrong. It's two T's. Copy. Pasta. No, no, no. Sample position. Oh, I got to pass the step size. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Okay. Again, save it, paste it, do all the things. Transmittance with underscore is wrong. Uh, it's it's shitting a brick. Transmitted times equals. Okay, there's this, this. Transmittance. And the light energy. It's two T's. Uh. No, 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 no. Cancel. Uh, late March. Transmittance plus cloud color, scene color, transmittance, double T's. And cloud thickness, cloud thickness, cloud thickness. Oh, yep. CF. Cloud absorption to light. Okay, and we just knock these guys down one by one. Absorption to sun. Okay, copy that, paste it. Uh, no, not yet. Cloud noise pause offset. Cloud noise offset. I did indeed. Okay. 
Cloud destroyed, yep. Cloud distortion scale weight, yep. Cloud shape scale weight. Oh, get out of it. Okay. Cloud detail scale weight. Cloud micro scale weight. Can I convert from float three to float four? Oh yeah, 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 okay. We have to do this number. Float four. Lose it up like a boot. Sin. Cloud blue noise texture sampler. Did you mean cloud blue <laughs> blue nose tech? No, that's wrong. It's not a nose texture. Under clear. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Expected. See if dot trace clouds. Okay, beautiful. Paste. Go. All right. It didn't work at all, but that's oh, sort of. Yeah, we need to integrate the blue noise. How can I get the screen coordinate in HLSL? It's a post process shapes. We may not have to pass this in. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we're just going to pass it in. That's fine. Too much work. Um, it'll go up here. Look to screen UV. See if that screen UV equals green UV. There we go. And we can do 
Here's sam texture 2D sample, blue, uh, cloud, blue, noise texture, cloud, blue, noise texture sampler, screen UV, blue, sap equals this, and then we're gonna Blue sand times step size point five times step size step size plus equals Save it, copy it over here, paste it, add a input to it. Green UV density cloud density fall off uh, oops cloud density fall off see that cloud Density fall off, uh, density fall off, K, save it. Cloud density fall off. Paste scalar parameter cloud density fall off. Do you ten? Blue noise. Okay, so we gotta do blue noise scales wrong. We need to multiply it by like ten. Uh, yep. Times ten. And then. My coefficient
Incorporate screen depth. World position. My oops, nope, not divide. Minus camera position. Length. Okay. It sort of works. Let's change our density, fall off a bit. Let's change our number of steps a bit. Let's put a copy of this in the actual scene. Um, another post process volume. We'll turn off our clouds. Send this to the origin. Unbound extent material. Yep, asset reference. CBAS clouds. Delete this. All right, now let's slow down the camera a lot. All right, let's go ahead and create a material instance as well. Yeah, that seems to be working properly. I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, it actually works pretty good, like at a basic level. You know, there's definitely obviously things wrong with it, like you can see, I think perhaps we need to change our camera vector to take the camera position into account, so 
Or no, no, no. Uh, four. Uh, no, no, no. Camera forward. I'm going to direction vector. And it's actually times negative one. Uh, instead of a while loop. All right, let's play around with the settings a bit more. And then I have a couple of things that I need to do around the house. Just 
So our segment calculation is wrong uh, for sure. This is this thing is also vibrating like crazy, which we fix in our other shader. But it is doing the thing. The nice thing is it does seem to be doing the like in out of the atmosphere like I'm not getting inconsistencies like obviously there's a lot of stuff wrong with this right but we just bang this out in like less than an hour so it's not surprising that there would be shit wrong with it I spent like two weeks on the other one it's interesting for sure oh darkness threshold I wanted to play with that um here we go. Zero. One. Point five. I cannot tell a difference. One. There's also the potential to use an adaptive sampling distance where we take smaller slices closer to the camera. So, let's try something. Uh, Anti-aliasing. So our height signal is not getting processed. So like, what I do like about this is it's inside the clouds, it's a better experience. I mean, it's not right now because there's no, like it still needs a lot of work and debugging. But like the consistency of like leaving the cloud layer and it looks correct going in the cloud layer and it continues to look correct and then exiting yeah all of that seems much better I don't know why it's doing this uh, we need to also change the blendable location probably
We have some like issues with the positioning. Uh, we need to add a cloud density floor function, so let's do that. Um, floor. <laughs> D minus equals cloud density for equals max um, phone is ringing Hold on, I'll be right back. Hello? I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Wrong number. Okay, shit. Where did it go? Max D zero zero go. Cloud density fall off. See up the cloud. Four. Four. Okay. Get this. Go over here. That's going to be upset because there's no cloud density 4 value. Cloud density 4. Scalar parameter, cloud density floor, O1, O1, O5, point one, point three, point two. We definitely have some shit going on with the positions of like our calculated segments not working properly. We're going to have to figure that out. Let me check something else as well. Absorption to cloud, absorption to cloud, absorption to light. Oh, 
for me, it's very, very nice to work out. <laughs> and like, I really eat each little dot as a carrot. Uh, float, blue, offset. Should actually be like this. And then right here. Plus blue. I'm set. There's a compound story that's called the time of the minor section. Then he walked past the blue thing, and then they are. And it's like they almost kind of like got your attention and caught a shot. Other thing that the road at the same end of the road at the same time that they did not. They do not have the same fault, but really the same. You say time for bad. It puts a game to people who are very bad with the It does. Thank you, Lord. Why do you make me mad? Uh, and you're actually the very good man in this time, probably, for my own decisions. The worst thing that happened was that the, uh, the honey that the queen had actually shared with my cousin side was kind of just poked me and he wanted it. Because I had a cat and clothes and minus one is because I had another body. Minus point five times point five times step size. Uh, step size. Plus equals blue offset. That I don't think is necessarily because it's because of the the wonkiness here. Their segment calculation is wrong, which is part of the problem here. However, our blending is really nice. Like the blend when you. Thank you. 
but it's a very, very big place. It's a very big place. Yes. 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 It's a very big so I think that since we're using the, the other phase function, we may be able to just use this in both places. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You want a pet? You want some head pads? Oh yeah. The like consistency of going through it is better though. Like it's not changing. It's not changing as as I fly through it. You know what I'm saying? So if we can line up our rays correctly and get rid of this banding, this is actually really nice because it's less parameters to control it this way. Yeah, 
Uh, let's try this as well. So where's our step size calculation? Are we just not using it right now? No, we're using it. Somewhere. Alright, let's just take what we've got right here. Paste it over here so you're, we're sure we're up to date. Uh, and then let's do it like this. Blue noise sample minus 0. 0.5 to bound it in the like negative to positive range, right? And then step size equals blue noise sample, blue offset. And let's do this total distance. And we're just going to recalculate the step size for the second one. Let's create a new empty level. Stick our ocean material on here. Add a post process effect. Um, place it at the origin. Place you at the origin. Grab you. So it's on bound. Ethereal. As a reference. Sebast Clouds instance.
Change our anti aliasing again. Um, scale our sphere up a bit. There's definitely some stuff wrong with it, but it's got some potential as well. The, um, in particular, the fact that it's like truly obscuring the, sc the screen properly when traveling through it is really nice. Um, so let's see. This is going to be a sphere bubble, a nicer sphere. Close this for now. Like this is nice. Like the fact that we go in the cloud, it doesn't change. So like I do want to pursue this a little bit further. I'm about out of time that I've got for right now. Our height signal's wrong. But a lot of it is right. Like the lighting, the light tracing seems pretty accurate, actually. So, hang on. <laughs> Darkness threshold. What does this do? Definitely some of like our short circuiting logic I think is wrong. Like 
Are you using that new game to tell me enough to say I'm going to play Space Town and you guys just screaming my phone sounds? <laughs> Fuck you, my mom's here. Uh, is Mario going to burn? I was going to put a burn in the game for the test, so. If you can get us 10,000 likes, we'll show you a bunch of kits. Really? Yeah, the little kits within the show. I was like, alright, I'll get ready for test and get this camera right on. Why do I, I, I just, like, let me go back in. Responding to everything. I responded to uh, Rainbow Berry's Facebook post and I said, Your animation sucks. Like, you didn't really mean. What are the animated kids in my clip? I was going to be a fan for two weeks. Yeah. And it's just over here. Here? I think I feel bad for leaving it over here in Canada. What? Well, I think I could have been quick, you know. Go ahead and pay for it. Go for it. I always, I always point out that if you look go back to the old shit from the, the Canadian film clips on YouTube, because they're so good, it's crazy. No helmet thing, no Rondo in the day. What? Oh, it's really good. Really, really, really good. Can you find it? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Yeah, there's some some vectors flipped. Some vectors flipped somewhere. Maybe the light vector. We can actually experiment pretty easily with that. What if I don't flip the camera vector? Nope. That is absolutely correct. Uh, might be probably in our segment logic. What if we flip this vector? No. Incorrect. They're actually pretty nice. We just got to figure out a few things. I'm so confused. Okay, Dylan. <laughs> Is Ding Dong a Kangaskhan or fur dragon? <laughs> Derp. That's why. That's why it's all fucked up. And then we can bring this back in.
That's why. All right, so that's all the time I got right now. Um, I'm going to play with this a little bit more on my own, see if I can work out the weird positioning issues, get it actually wrapped around the sphere, combine it with our existing Calculate Cloud Shadow Logic, and then um, see where I'm at, because I may want to refactor this in and replace my existing clouds if it works well enough. All right, uh, later.